132. Two lads, 23 and 24. He'd been sitting in the cafe since 10.30, waiting for his friend to show. He was still waiting at midnight, then again at half past one, the place completely empty. He was sick of reading the papers. His money was nearly gone, spent on coffee, cognac, cigarettes, during his three hours vigil. He was utterly spent and wasted, frantic now. This evening seemed to sum up his whole life. Then his pal came in and burst the sombre bubble. Suddenly the whole place was aglow. He brought good news. He'd won a stack of money playing cards. This had been a very lucky evening. They looked at each other, breathless, speechless, as their ardour grew, excited at the friend's good luck, which seemed a seal of approval on their love. Elated, they left the café arm in arm. Neither was welcome now at the other's house, their families thoroughly disapproved of this unmentionable gay liaison. So they went instead to a place they knew, a place where people like them were always welcome, asked for a room, some drink, and settled down in warmth and comfort side by side to chat and kiss and fondle and be happy in each other's presence and each other's arms. Then at four in the morning the bottle empty. They went to bed and made ecstatic love.